feeling when you gotta unbutton your jeans after eating some pizza because you look five months pregnant? Well, that's what this video is about, sorta. I don't know how universal this is, but I know a bunch of girls who get really bloated after eating like a slice of pizza. We're talking like seven months pregnant level bloat. And yes, I am one of those girls. Now, in order to prove to you guys that I am qualified to make this video, I have been part of the bloated girlies group since I was 16. I got diagnosed with IBS and since then, it's pretty much been a journey of learning how to deal with the bloat. Since I've been dealing with this issue for over a decade now, I've come up with some outfit recipes that are perfect for bloated tummy days. And I also have my own personal list of do's and don'ts for those outfits. Just for the sake of this video, I am going to eat one of the things that makes me bloat the most guaranteed, which is pizza. I'm going to devour half of this pizza, which is more than enough for a beautiful five month pregnant belly illusion. Let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so I figured right off the bat, let's get uh, super freaking vulnerable and uh, let's get real. Let me show you my, my bloat. It's not as impressive as it has been in the past. Sometimes it's like maybe like this big. Anybody else give names to their like bloat babies? I shall name this one Marie Antoinette because it looks like I ate a whole cake. It's making me feel super uncomfortable that I'm showing this online, but you know what? We're gonna be fucking real today. Ooh, I feel like the Grinch. Let's get to the outfits. One. Dresses with an empire waist. Now, I don't usually like dresses with an empire waist because they can be a little bit tricky on my body type. However, bloat where? Pregnant who? You don't see nothing. I could have stuffed that whole pizza and you don't see it. When bloated, do not wear dresses that cinch in at the waist. No, wear dresses that flow down from the chest down. Get it? Flow down from the chest down. The thing with empire waist dresses is, yes, they can look unattractive, especially if they're super long and if they're kind of weird fitting on you. But if you find the right one, which, Lord willing, you will, then they look pretty good. They make you feel cute and fashionable. You can still wear a dress and you don't have to worry about this baby right here. The point is you do not want to wear a dress that starts flowing from down the midsection or any lower. So avoid wearing any dresses that have a cut that starts at the midsection or lower because those will emphasize the belly. Anything that is like mid waist and up is much better. This way there is no restriction to your belly, your tummy aches are not going to be as bad because you're not wearing pants, etc. And if you did for some reason want to make it a little bit more like you could wear compressing tights underneath. However, I am all about letting this thing just chill. So yeah, that is my advice for wearing dresses when you're feeling like a balloon. Also, I'm not going to be doing that with my dresses this time, but you could totally layer these dresses. You could add a sweater vest, you could add a cardigan, you could add something else. I'm not doing that this time because this is just outfit recipes. It's up to you to decorate and accessorize them. This is just the basics. Two, skirts that cover the tummy. It's totally up to you how loose or tight you wear your skirt. The point is that you can wear it over the waist. So I am currently wearing it right by the waist, by my rib cage here, as you can see. I am wearing the corset top because I could still pull this off with this corset top because I'm not super bloated. However, if your bloat level is way higher than, I'd say this is like a solid five, then maybe do not go for the corset top. Go for something a little bit flowier, like a linen button up or something like that. The goal here is to just get that downward flow effect once again. So I do recommend wearing flowy skirts and not tight skirts like pencil skirts, something that flows a little bit naturally as you move like this. I do not recommend skirts that are at your midsection or lower section unless they're covered with something else. First of all, they can give you tummy cramps, like especially the midsection ones, serious tummy cramps. Second of all, if you're worried about it looking unflattering, it might look unflattering. All in all, this is my favorite formula for bloated days because I get to wear different kinds of tops and skirts and still keep it really freaking cute while also feeling comfortable. And the thing is, if you're wearing a shorter skirt, you will really benefit from wearing a flowy shirt. And we're gonna talk about that next. No, wait, this direction. Next. Three, long or buttoned tops. I do not recommend wearing cropped shirts unless you have the earlier mentioned high-waisted skirt or otherwise high-waisted bottoms. 
This is because once again you reveal the tummy or depending on the top you might even make it uncomfortable. Instead, I recommend that you wear long or regular sized button ups and tops that are flowy and comfortable. They don't necessarily have to be flowy like this, they can be a little bit more tight or a little bit more cropped, unless once again you're wearing something super high waisted with it. With these kinds of tops, depending on how much of a flowy effect they give, I do tend to pair them with skirts like this one, especially like short skirts, I find this to be a very flattering look personally. I also tend to pair these with high-waisted shorts and high-waisted pants, so I just kind of go with what outfit I'm feeling on that particular day. This skirt is a little bit on the tighter side, so I would only wear this with a bloat level like this, but if I was more bloated, I'd probably go for a dress or something else that was a little bit less restricting. The goal here is to be cute and is to be a little bit experimental with your outfits, but also not uncomfortable for the entire day you're out. Comfort is key, my friends. Repeat. Comfort is key. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that's all the advice I have for the tops. Honestly, you can be super experimental with this. You could even wear peplum tops. Those are pretty cute. Anything that flows or anything that's a little bit on the longer or bigger side. I also do personally like to unbutton my button shirts so that it reveals the skirt underneath or the pants underneath. Because once again, 99% of my pants or just my bottoms in general are high-waisted. Now let's talk more about pants. Four. Pants and shorts with adjustable waistbands. Adjustability is key. If you have pants that have drawstrings, those are ideal because you can adjust your pants according to how bloated or unbloated you are. I am not tying these right now because I am bloated, but if I were not bloated, I could tie these and make them a little bit smaller and a little bit more cinched in like this. I got these Uniqlo pants from the men's section and I don't know why, but the women's section does not have drawstring pants that I know of at least. So I am getting my pants from the men's section these days because they're better. And also, look at the pockets. How deep is this pocket? This is why I don't really wear jeans that much. I think I have like three pairs of jeans and I don't wear them a lot because they always make me super uncomfortable. My tummy starts hurting and I can't adjust them at all. So if I am bloated or if I just feel a little sick in the tummy, I can't do anything until I'm home. And that gives me crazy stomach cramps. So in order to avoid that, I usually wear these types of pants. I've even had days where I have unbuttoned the actual button here and I've just tied it with drawstrings so that it doesn't completely fall off, which these pants don't really. They actually fit me really great. And that's about it for the bottoms. I feel like it's a bit self-explanatory. Like this applies also to skirts and shorts, etc. But I'm not gonna showcase absolutely everything in my closet for this. Now let's talk about how you can use layers to create nice, comfy, cute outfits. Five, loose layers. Wearing loose layers can give you really cute looks, especially if you're wearing tighter bottoms, but they're also masters at hiding the bloat away, as you can tell. There is no bloat in sight, it's just a cute outfit. For this outfit recipe, I personally like things like cropped sweaters and cardigans, oversized sweater vests, oversized cardigans, and in general, anything that's a little bit more maybe like oversized or loose or just like a little bit more fun and playful like this cardigan. This is a really easy way to experiment and add a little bit of something fun to an otherwise basic outfit, especially if you are just running low on that creativity gas. But uh, not on the other gas. <laughs> Sorry, too much. And that's all I have for the outfit recipes. I wanted to also give you an additional list of some do's and don'ts to keep in mind. Play with layers and looks and focus on comfort. There are so many different ways of layering for all four seasons. I really recommend looking through Pinterest if you are having a total block. Other than that, I would suggest following the principles of my outfit recipes and their examples and trying to see how you can make some of these outfit recipes happen with clothes you already own. And you know, just play around with what you have, come up with new outfit ideas, maybe save those outfits like take a photo and save it on your phone i actually like to use my actual youtube videos as inspiration for outfits for when i have absolutely nothing i can think of but yeah just kind of play around and absolutely do not be harsh with yourself when you're trying on outfits please do not hate yourself for your tummy for your thighs for anything love you as you are try to be healthy that is the number one goal is to be healthy so you know if this bloated tummy is coming from you eating way too much gluten which i just did maybe try to avoid gluten or maybe try to avoid refined sugars focus on the outward flow effect for maximum comfort i cannot emphasize how much more easier my outfits have become when i've realized that the flowier the outfit 
the easier it is for me to be comfortable and style it in a way that I like. Those outfits have 100% been my comfiest outfits when I've had really, really, really bad bloated days. So if you're having one of those days, like I've said before, I would really recommend an empire waist dress or something else that flows from right underneath the chest and down. Utilize the concept of reverse triangle fashion. Essentially what this is, is wearing bigger tops and smaller bottoms. So you could have an oversized t-shirt with a small skirt or perhaps you have a big dress with pants underneath or maybe a padded blazer with some cropped pants. Using the reverse triangle method essentially just allows you to have that effect of downward slimming. It's kind of just like a visual trick. I just think it's fun. You don't have to do it, but I do think it's a good thing to utilize when you're having these bloated tummy days. And that's all the outfits and tips for the bloated tummy girlies. I really hope this helped you. I hope this made you feel more comfortable and confident in what you wear. Please let me know if there's something else that you are struggling with in your fashion that you would like advice in. And also let me know which trick you use the most. What is your favorite outfit recipe? What is your favorite trick to do for these times? If there's anything I missed, please, please, please share it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Now I'm going to fashionably de-bloat <laughs> and I'll see you next time.